Yo, what's poppin'? We finally got some more Armor Core 6 gameplay, so you know we gotta do a live react. But first and foremost, I wanna thank everybody for coming out to the Demon X Machina um, tournament. We had a great time. Uh, we had Switch and PC going at the same time. Also, we gotta talk about Armor Core 6 news. There is a huge... I don't know if it's a rumor. It looks pretty legit. Like I'm still like skeptical because it seems too good to be true. But I guess the back of the case in Japan, somebody has seen it and, and took a picture of it, and it's going around the internet. But it has seemingly confirmed six-player multiplayer and three players uh, spectator mode or whatever. So if that's the case, y'all know week one we're doing fight night, and then. In the September, I plan on doing a tournament for that. Um, as of right now, I think I'm grabbing the game on PC. I will probably not be getting my PS5 until September, when the Spider-Man joint drops. If I get it, please y'all pray for me. I'm trying to get that. I'm trying to get that PS5. I need it. But anyways, um, yeah, let's react to this video. Let's see the gameplay. I've been hearing good things. I've seen a little bit of clips on Twitter. I haven't really watched. I try not to watch because I wanted to do this reaction. I, I, I like authentic reactions. So uh, let's start the freaking video, bro. I'm hyped. Hello, and thanks for checking out the video. Oh, they talked to us. With this footage, we'll introduce our new mech action game. Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. Hi! <laughs> we hope it gives you an idea of this title's mood and gameplay. Mood? You mean the vibe? Do you mean the vibe, my bro? Where interstellar travel is commonplace. Our story begins in a distant star system on the fictional planet Rubicon 3. Our protagonist, an independent mercenary, is smuggled into Rubicon in search of a mysterious new substance known as Coral. Coral? Your position is Grid 135. Off target, but within permissible range. There's a catapult ahead. Use it to close the gap. Huge multi layered stages will let players make the, this the same place they showed the first time and attack capabilities. Hello, lit. Six to one, six to six, stitch. Game look good graphically. Armor core usually ugly. My boy just started blasting. Okay, let's clean, let's clean. Let's clean, let's clean. Picking up signals from AC Rex. We got repairs. Follow the markers. Scan the scan mode. Assault boost is one of the core abilities at your disposal, used for both traversal and combat. That looks kind of cool. Did you hear anything about what the core I don't know if I'd use it to traverse though. I like to have my stamina. Got us on the run. My boy sneaking up on a homie in a mech. Ooh, the little side step. Ooh, he just turned around like that. That's lit. Navigate the environment. So you're not stuck facing one way the whole time. 
that could change some stuff up, believe it or not. Use boost to take the fight to the air, extending combat dimensions beyond the 2D plane. They give me a lot of air time. Like for an answer, I guess. You can't be running out of stamina, bro. That's rookie stuff. You gotta keep the boost gauge up. That's fire, though. Why he do that little pose every time he slash? Use vertical catapults to gain even more altitude and launch into the action from above. Oh, this looks dope. My boy melee in the freaking helicopter of death? Look at that health bar, bro. Can you stagger that too? Deal impact damage to their attitude control system to temporarily put them out of action. Oh, dang, he did a lot of damage. This is called stagger. Any attack received in this state is considered a direct hit. Dang! The, st the stagger thing is like a fighting game mechanic, and it's kind of weird. I don't want to say it's weird that it's in here, but it's definitely different. The Uzis. I'm trying to use the Uzis. Yo, 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 yo. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down, slow down. We gotta rewind that. Alright, so we got like a machine gun. Which is usually what I kind of use. Stuff like that, personally. Wait, what was that? What was that? A chain gun, which I usually don't fuck with. That look like a... A shoddy. See, with the. I normally don't use shotguns in Armor Core. Like, they're just not. In my opinion, I just need a little bit more range than that. But with the stagger system, it might not be a bad idea to have one on your on your hands, bro. Oh, I wanted to see the other thing. It looked like a big revolver that was like right below the shotgun. What was that? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Assembly lets you exchange various parts of your AC at will, including weapons, frame parts, like shield and core, and internal parts for power management. Assembling an AC to fit your own playstyle and strategy is crucial to success. Oh, they got the tailors. We already know that though. I'm gonna say this again, yo. Like, experiment. If you never play Armor Core and you don't like know what kind of AC you want to build, experiment, play around with it, like learn, use all the weapons, like see what it does, like you, you have multiple, like do as much experimenting and play around with stuff as you can because that's how you, in my opinion, that's uh, how you get the most out of the game, one and two, that's how you like learn how to combat this, those things and you never know, you have a mech for every situation. You look like an archivist. What, what is that is? Raven, this request comes from Schneider, an archivist subsidiary. The mission will take place in the Bona Dea Dunes. I do like that it's still like mission based. Our coral investigation like you're still just a merc. By the Strider, a Rubicon Liberation Front mining ship. You are to destroy it. The Strider is a mobile resource base that was extensively weaponized by the Liberation Front. Call it the crowning glory of their efforts to militarize into an anti-corporate force. Your attack will focus on the eye, a giant laser cannon connected directly to the main generator. It's protected by a shield, which is powered by auxiliary sub-generators. These should be your first targets. You gotta take that whole thing this now. The briefing. Good luck. I remember Armor Core 5 had a bunch of these like big boxes for co-op. Look like they still kept that in there. Like big bosses. Oh, I like this design on his AC. Here, we're up against 
against an enormous weapon that eclipses our AC. They said my name. Don't ever run out of boost, y'all. My boy's smoothing. He trying to. I feel like. I feel like we're barely seeing the smooth potential. Like I see once once people get their hands on the game for real, y'all gonna be seeing some stuff. God damn. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. I thought he just had to take out some generators. Alright, now we've got a foothold to get on the deck. Grab on and get to work on the subject. That's kind of, this is kinda of dope. Ally. That's kind of cool. Those are probably NPCs, right? It would be dope though if those are actual people. So you don't have to lock on. Look like it's normally a soft lock that you kind of like choose to lock on, kind of like Kingdom Hearts. Game looking good though, man. I'm excited. He about to die. Attacking a watch point. You're incorrigible, Handler Walter. How many of your dogs must I kill? That boy got a spotlight? The cool thing about the stagger system, especially if it's in PvP, is that it promotes aggressiveness. That dude was barely moving. Crazy. By observing the enemy's movements and tells, the player can learn as the battle unfolds. He about to die. And a good commander assembly will often provide the first step to overcome even the most daunting foes. Dang! We invite players to take on this one for themselves and see what else awaits. 
That shit are lit. I'm not gonna hold you. Thank you for watching. That was hype. I'm a hype. I don't know about y'all, man. I know I said it 20 times. Fires of Rubicon. But this shit are lit. We appreciate your continued support and look forward to seeing you at launch. I can't wait to see more. Hopefully multiplayer true. What's this? The environments look dope. Hopefully there's more like city areas. What is this music? What is this Stranger Things music? Yo, if this game has co-op, bro. If this game has co-op and PvP. That shit was fire, that shit was fire, that shit was fire, that shit was fire, that shit. Alright, well, that's all I got to say. We don't have to make this video long. I'm hyped again. Thanks again for everybody who showed up, who watched this video, uh, who showed up for the tournament. Fight nights Friday as if as soon as PvP drops. If it doesn't drop at release, as soon as PvP drops, we'll be doing fight nights every Friday for however long and then expect a tournament within that month. Um But yeah, let's get it. Ready to take over. I'll see y'all later. Peace.